In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use AP divs. AP divs behave differently from um, standard divs, although they share a lot in common in terms of styling. But they can behave differently depending upon how you position them in relationship to a container. So, to show you how AP divs or absolute position divs work, I'm just going to click right inside of the content area in the main, main area of my uh, container inside this content uh, div and I'm going to go to insert div tag and I'm going to leave it set to insertion point but I'm going to call my div ap underscore div and click OK. So here's my ap div sitting down here and I'm ready to go ahead and style it so while it's still selected I go to new rule, this little page with the plus symbol and it is indeed a compound um, type of uh, CSS rule uh, and it should look like this so your new rule should say um, pound sign container um, pound sign AP div make sure that the AP div is inside the container in that context and then click OK now um, what we're going to do is I'm going to go to background click on background color make sure we can see this I'm going to make it um, I'm going to make it uh, red bright red so we can so this will stand out um, and I'm going to go to box then and I'm going to make it um, 150 by 150 wide by 150 high so um, this uh, box and then I'm not going to float or use any of these other margins or padding um, but I am going to go to um, the positioning um, category and from the position pop-up menu here I'm going to choose absolute and click apply now it looks like it's popped off to the side here you can see on my page but as soon as I click OK um, it shows up here outside the container but I need to click on it if I click on it I can see that this div is much different than the other divs it actually has a handle up the top and uh, the top left hand side so when you click in it you should see this handle you simply click and drag and move this to wherever you want um, on your page and I'm going to position it here um, or maybe down here um, and I'm going to go inside now ins you can you can um, add images inside or or text or block quotes anything um, this is my AP div um, and so here is my AP div. Now, you're thinking, wow, this is great. So I can just uh, create divs and ha put them wherever I want and just build my divs this way. Well, yes and no. If I position the div here on the page, watch what happens now when I preview it in the browser. So now I go up to the globe, um, pull down menu to preview. And I'm going to preview it in Chrome this time instead of Safari. We'll go to Chrome. I click Save to save this page. Click Yes. So here is my div page. Um, and looks fine. Looks like that uh, div is fixed. However, if I resize my page, you notice as I move the page wider, the container is doing what it should do. It's centering itself and it's moving. But the AP div is remaining fixed to its position um, for the entire browser window. So absolute positioned by default here, this AP div is actually absolutely positioning itself to um, the corner of the page, the top left hand side of the page. So an AP div um, is in fact um, positioning itself um, according to the root element or the HTML element. Now, to change this and make it so that it um, actually 
uh, positions itself relative to the container. Um, I'm going to close this window. We're going to close out of Chrome and go back into our um, div page here in Dreamweaver. And I'm going to open up the rule for the container. So I'm going to collapse the insert menu here. Um, look in my style sheet for the container um, rule. Here it is. So I'm going to double click on the container and open it up. And what I want to do with the container is go back to the positioning category for the container. And where it has the position pull down menu, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to choose relative. So now instead of the AP div um, positioning itself um, relative to the HTML uh, element, which is the page itself, it's going to position itself relative to the container, which now is positioned um, as the um, in a relative state. So now, if I click Apply and then click OK, everything looks fine. If I click inside the AP div, I can move that around. So um, I'm going to position it here, uh, position it back here, and then I'm going to um, go and preview now in the browser. So I'm going to go back to Chrome, save my changes. Yes, the style sheet's been modified. I say yes to save that. And so there's my AP div, and now you can see that as I move the container, the AP div moves in relationship to it. So there are many, many um, design um, features that this can be applied to. Um, you could leave the AP div um, positioned to HTML and have it so that it behaves separately for the from the container as a design element. Or you could have it um, so that the container is relative and the AP div moves um, relative to the container. So um, there are a couple of different ways you can do it. No right or wrong way, but it is certainly a unique, uh, it offers unique design possibilities. So good luck working with your AP divs.